before I start this video, I know a lot of you guys are having different problems in the game and this is affecting your gameplay, your normal gaming experience. I just want to read this message by Chris, a uh, Haiti community manager. It says important. So he said, please do not contact our support about the known issues. They cannot help you and they will close the tickets. Please do not try any solutions on your own. For example, buy the farm pass again or buy your Maggie designs directly again. Okay, so what I'm trying to say over here or what Chris said is that you do not need to contact KD team within the game again and again on the same problem because they know these problems are in the game and they're trying their best to make it back to normal. So if you're simply going to ask them the same questions, they're not going to reply you. He's already said that. And secondly, do not try any solutions on your own. For example, if your Maggie designs were gone, do not purchase them again. And if you lost your farm pass, which I'll be talking in this video, do not purchase it again. Just wait, be patient, Hayde will definitely do something about it. Now let's get into today's video. All right, so welcome back to my farm. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the farm pass problem or the farm pass glitch that a lot of people had in the game just before the windmill problem. And this is actually connected to your windmill problem. The number of windmills that you received in the game are directly related to the number of farm pass points that you got by the Alfred. Now disclaimer, I did not get them once again, which you guys know because I was not in the game at that time when the game actually broke down. Unfortunately, I was sleeping, which is really unlucky because usually at that time I do not sleep, but I was really tired last Friday. I literally slept for so long and I missed everything that was happening in the game. I came so late. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to respond to a few comments that you guys left on my last video. A lot of people were saying that they did not play the valley and they did not even have enough tokens yet they got 600 windmills. Now, I'm not sure on this one because I tried to confirm this from other players other people and they said this is not true so I don't know if you guys are joking or if it's true I really don't know anything about it because as far as my knowledge goes or the information that I've collected from a lot of sources the people who got the windmills were the ones that were playing the game at the time when the game broke down and then when the maintenance happened, if you were active in the game at that time, then I'm sure you must have received the windmills. But if you were not, you came late just like me, then you probably did not get them. And secondly, only the people who had enough tokens got the windmills. So I am not sure that if you did not have enough tokens, you still got the windmills. Okay, so that was about the windmills. I'll explain it more later. Now, now coming to the main topic of this video, the farm pass glitch, which which I hope will clarify more confusions than you guys have about the windmills. So once again, we're going to go back to last Monday, uh, actually Monday, not the last Monday, this week's Monday. When the update came, uh, when people came into the game, I think the game was broken. Uh, when people checked their farm pass, and even the people who had purchased the farm pass, it was back to the beginning. It was just like that they never purchased a farm pass, and there were no points. It was literally just like you start the farm pass in the beginning of every month. Okay, it was showing something like this. You can see it says get pass and the upper road is locked when the people had actually purchased the farm pass in the beginning of this month. And then what happened? He did the maintenance. Alfred came. He first delivered the diamonds. So after the maintenance, Alfred came to the door and left this package. You can see over here it says farm pass issue. On April 26th, we had an issue that affected your farm pass. You were no longer on the premium track when you should have been. Best regards, hated team. So basically, they sent another farm pass to compensate the first one, which you'd already missed. It means if you'd already purchased a farm pass in the beginning of month and you were back to normal, so they sent you this one again. Okay, but that was not everything. As I said, people were back to the beginning, like to the first one. So they sent farm pass points as well. You can see it says found pass points. We found some pass points. Are these yours? And you can see over here it says 600 chicks. So that's basically uh, 600 farm pass points so that you could complete your farm pass again. Now, it proves one thing that probably the people who already collected their farm pass rewards got this problem or the people who had purchased a farm pass in the beginning of this month got this problem. And of course, you would only get this if you were playing the game during the maintenance or basically during the time of the game actually broke down when all these problems were happening. And after the outfit came with 600 chick points, people completed their farm pass and they were able to collect all the rewards once again. 
In most simplest words, all the rewards got duplicated. They got more coins, probably got more XP, more decorations, like two of each decorations, uh, the chick pool, chick foot, and the gnome. Okay, this is where the twist came in the story. Just when the farm pass was broken, the value was also broken at that time. I've already shown you guys in my last video. The value was showing zero tokens. So after delivering the 600 chick points, Alfred came to your door again. And this time, and he came with the same number of windmills as the farm pass points that he delivered you. Now, not everyone got 600 points, some people got 400, some people got 300, so it basically depended on how many prizes you'd collected, whatever. So he gave you the same number of windmills as he delivered the number of farm pass points. So let's say if you got 600 farm pass points, you also got 600 windmill. And that was clearly a mistake in the system, that was clearly a bug. They did not really need to give people 600 windmills, probably they got to change this. And of course, the farm pass going back to the beginning was also a bug, which happened after the update. So yeah, this is basically what happened. I know literally a lot going on and no one's really sure why this is happening, but these are all the speculations and all the positive guesses that people have collected. Now, I have a few questions for you guys. Now, tell me if you got the farm pass points once again, and if you did so, had you purchased a farm pass or you didn't? And even if you purchased a farm pass, had you collected your cards already or you were still missing some items? Like your farm pass was not completed or maybe it was completed but you just had not collected the prizes so that it happened once again. So let me know. It'd be really helpful if you guys can share more information so that we all can know what's happening. But basically, that was all about the farm pass glitch that happened just after the update. People got duplicate rewards. Unfortunately, uh, this didn't happen with me. I did not get anything, as you guys know. But... Seriously, people got this really lucky. I wish I was actually awake at that time and I was not really sleeping when this all happened. But anyways, that was all about this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know everything that you know about this problem, about the windmills, about the farm pass, or let me know your problems currently in the game. I'd be really grateful to get all the information from you guys. That'd be really helpful. Thank you. So yeah, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys.